Hello and welcome back to Jody Lewis Creations. Um, in today's video, we are going to work on a couple of uh, journaling cards for our project. And um, it's kind of a dual thing. Louisa has a challenge for her uh, 40,000 subscribers. That just blows my mind. 40,000, that is so amazing. Um, anyway, 40,000 and she's having a giveaway and I don't, you know, think that I'll ever win something like that, but I liked what she did. And I was thinking already that I've got to do something with this thing, I swear. I was thinking already that I uh, wanted to kind of do something to kind of make a little bit of a mess here. I'm truly just exhausted from everything that I have going on right now. And I actually want to take a nap, but I don't nap. So that's not really an option. But I have this, hi, welcome to my channel. <laughs> If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, you know how much I love you. And you will know that I'm very tired because I'm already scattered and I haven't even gotten started. I've been standing here looking at my crazy mess for a while and I'm just staring at it blankly. I'm like, I'm probably not going to get it cleaned up today. But I have to get it cleaned up. I have made progress with packing for projects for On the Road. And I don't think I have said that I have decided to take bees and bunnies and Dumbo. And then, of course, I'm taking this Tim Holtz uh, journal. So if I did say that already, I apologize for uh, being redundant. Not my intent. Um, so we have this. What this is, is it's a book um, that I... Not my idea. I don't know whose idea it was originally. But you just collage your scraps on these book pages and then it gives you bases to work with. I really should be sitting with glue and just cleaning up my scraps because that would make them usable and get them off my table so I don't come home to them. Uh, one thing I did do last year is I just threw a bunch of scraps away because I didn't feel like dealing with them. So, that being said, let's have a little bit of play. I'm pretty sure that this brown is paint. And I'm pretty sure that this has been sitting here since I did the hummingbird journal. That's been a while. I mean, that's been a while. So this was on my table and I'm gonna use it. But what we need to do is just add some more interest to it. Obviously, just brown paint isn't enough. I mean, it could be a cool background piece. I mean, you know, depending on what you add to it. But we're going to play just a little bit more. And um, I will not use my heat tool while I'm filming. I just, that's so loud. And um, I, I just don't want that to be uh, the case. I mean, you guys, Lisa, if you saw my desk, you would be like, you need to be doing a cleanup on aisle five all day long and not playing. However, I need to play. My brain is super taxed. Super, super taxed. So what I'm thinking is I want these tags to match our journal, right? So I have the browns, which obviously the browns are going to go really, really well. So I'm thinking let's bring in maybe some green, a little bit of yellow, um, and just see what it is that we want to do. Of course we have the blue, but I've been pulling blue a lot already. And I know I'm going to tend toward blue. But I think if I do just kind of a natural colored background, it's gonna give us a really good uh, base to work with. And I am thinking on the fly while I'm talking to you. So let's see what greens we have here. Yeah, we like this hunter green, of course. And what did I say? I said yellow, didn't I? How about this cheddar? It's kind of a crazy color. And then we'll just try this and see what we want to do. Okay, so I just grabbed my folk art hunter green and that's the color I used on Santa Remembered. And then I have this uh, Dina Wakely cheddar, which truly looks like the Kraft macaroni and cheese cheese packet. I mean, I'm just saying. All right. Um, what am I looking for? 
my brain. If anybody finds my brain, if you could kindly return it to me, that would be fantastic. Thank you. Get me a nasty little card here. And then I think I'm just going to do a little bit of green and I'm just putting it on. Oh, shake it. Shake it. Shake it. Put it on my little placemat here. And this is just my Dollar Tree placemat. And if you're new to my channel, I use this a lot. It gives me a um, non-stick surface for my paint. I'm able to spray, roll, whatever, make a mess on it basically. And um, yeah, and then my brayer, which you can see my brayer's pretty well loved. I'd like to get a better brayer, but I'm not allowed to be shopping right now. Uh, nope. Nope, nope. I was looking at Etsy for something. What was I looking at? I don't even know what I was looking at, to be honest. And anyway, I was looking at Etsy for something. Just at something. I was browsing. I wasn't even shopping. Oh my gosh. And Mark says, don't be buying anything. I said, I'm not. Just looking. <laughs> but in all fairness, we have definitely been keeping Amazon in business this week. And, um... With our trip coming so soon, I it truly is we need to be refraining. And, um, <coughs> excuse me, I do have a couple things that I ordered coming, but that was kind of before he put the kibosh on um, buying anything else. Okay, so I have that piece, and then I just have, this is just, I was mailing something, and for the life of me, I couldn't figure out how to uh, print two labels on one page. I was print doing it through Pirate Ship because I had I had uh, sold a couple of these daubers, and um, anyway, and, and I had to mail that vintage spool, and I was like, oh well. Hmm, okay, well, so I have some bits of paper here that I'm just going to use because maybe we can use it to back the tags or something. Okay, so I'm going to take my heat tool to this. And this is always an interesting thing because it's always ugly before it's pretty. So if you're doing this, it's an opportunity to just let go of your expectations because especially if you're using your brayer like I am or you're just scraping and doing whatever, you, you're you can control it however i don't even try i mean i just don't try because it's not worth it to me to try to control the outcome i can control what colors i use but i can't control how my paper is bending with all the creases and seams and stuff like that so just an opportunity to kind of like be free have fun so heat tool and then i'll be back when you're taking your heat tool to your paint, you should be able to see that it loses the shimmer shine from being wet. Um, I don't know how well you can see, and I'm, it's gloomy today, but right there is a dot of paint that is still really shiny. So I know that's not completely dry, and I'm not gonna sit here, and where did it go? Right there. So see, it gave me like a little crater. So, which is kind of fun too, which we may do at a later stage here. Um, so let's do some cheddar. Spread things better with cheddar. I was watching a, um, grocery games while I was doing lunch today and I cracked up. That got, I don't know if anybody watches um, Food Network and grocery games, but I love Guy Fieri. I just think he's such a cool guy. But he made them use canned processed cheddar cheese and <laughs> and on top of that he made him do it with fish <laughs> like what those chefs came up with was super interesting oh good gravy is that bright let's just roll that off a little bit can you see how bright that is I mean it's like I'm telling you a straight out the blue box kind of cheddar hopefully it's gonna blend blend itself for me pretty well and the thing about this is what do I always say guys it's just paper and it's just an opportunity to get messy to play now if this were 
I'm using acrylics because if I were using my inks, you know, they're water-based. I mean, the paint's water-based too, but once it dries, it's not gonna mix and make mud. I mean, my paper looks like mud right now, but that's because of the colors that I'm using. But you don't have to worry as much about your color wheel when you're playing with acrylics versus when you are, um, uh huh, versus when you are, um, oh my gosh, Jody, you don't have to worry as much about your color wheel when you're playing with acrylics versus playing with the paint, the inks, because the inks are going to reactivate. Oh, that's really pretty. Why didn't I just use that? It's a cereal box, it would be hardy tags, but we wouldn't even really have to back them. We could just use it. Eh, well, maybe I'll change gears. But anyway. Um, so, yes. That hopefully makes sense. It's probably about clear as mud. Because my brain is clear as mud right now. I was texting my friend and I was like, I just, I don't take naps. But I just really feel like I need a nap today. And she's like, then maybe you should take one. <laughs> Maybe I should. Oh, great. Now look, I look like I've got cheddar cheese all over me. Okay. Don't get me wrong. I like the blue box. I still eat the blue box. I don't know how old, but I do doctor it. I doctor it. But I make other macaroni and cheese too. I mean, it's very seldom I don't like macaroni and cheese, but we went, when my mother in law was here and we went down to visit her her, what is Joanne, 88, 89, and we took them, we all went out to lunch, we went to this barbecue place, and I got macaroni and cheese and a cup of chili, and um, the macaroni and cheese was like not creamy at all, I'm like, what kind of macaroni and cheese is this? Talk about a major disappointment, but it's all right. Okay, so I'm going to dry this, and then I'm going to figure out... I think I want to come in with some stamping and obviously we're going to have to bring in some gesso because this is a little crazy, but I think it's going to be fun. And again, if we don't like it, I have this as plan B. All right. So I'll be back. Okay. So I'm not loving this and that's okay. Like I said, we definitely go through ugly stages before we get to pretty stages. So I'm not worried about it. Oops. But I have this. Uh, distress paint this unchartered mariner and I haven't used it so I'm just gonna go and just add some on here and just see what it does I have no idea I'm truly just playing okay so I want to thank you in advance for your grace for not beating me up over being really scattered and tired like honestly I'm super exhausted today and um I, I'm just trying to connect my dots, but I needed to play and I hadn't filmed and oh my gosh, that is such a gorgeous color. Wow. Love that color. Wow. Um, so I was tell yesterday, uh, well, I got up super early and was working in the RV and I had done all that meal prep guys. And, um, all the frozen stuff, I said, well, let's just go ahead and get it out of the freezer in the house. We'll put it out, you know, we're just, we're leaving soon, so I can inventory, know what I have. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love that blue so much. Wow. I wonder what other color I have in this distress paint. But anyway, and so I hauled it all out, right? And we knew we were taking the RV to get serviced because it needs like the oil changed and all that stuff. And so Mark says to me, after I've been in there working all day, taking stuff out of cabinets and just assessing what we have in there and trying to take stuff out that we never used last winter, but this winter's trip is going to be a little bit different anyway. He comes in and he says, Oh, the guy called and um, we need to have Gypsy down for service at seven. And I said, oh, well, how long is he gonna have it? And he goes, I don't know, I assume just the day. And I said, well, I have food in the freezer. 
which it should be okay off the batteries. However, it's going to be in the bay. So that means that the solar is not going to work to charge. And it blew me anyway. I don't know that it would. So, uh, all the food that I put out there, put in bags, it brought it back in, put it back in the freezer. I'm like, gosh, one step, two steps forward and one step back for sure. I was just super frustrated. I'm going to go over this with abandoned coral because now I've gotten all excited about this unchartered mariner and I'm going to dry it and see what color it brings because the step flower on the front is similar in color to this. So I'm going to dry this and come right back. I'm really excited about this. I like how it dried and actually because it is the distress paint you can still see some of the color, the underlying colors coming through. So that's just gonna add a little bit more interest. So now we're gonna use just a little bit of our abandoned coral and hopefully not as much as the blue that I put on here. And again, I'm just playing. I'm just, I'm just needing to play. Um, oh, well, we got a lot right there, so. Oh well, we'll just have to see what happens. But anyway, so yeah, but I got a lot done yesterday. I hauled a bunch of stuff out, stuff that needs washed, you know, just seeing what we have in there. And like last winter, oh my gosh, how pretty is that? Last winter I had packed because my mother-in-law was supposed to meet up with us. We were going to pick her up at the airport in um, Kansas City and she was going to make the trip with us, but she fell ill and we just didn't feel safe with her having a compromised immune system and um, traveling. Because, I mean, the pandemic aside, uh, oh my gosh, this is so cool. The pandemic aside, I mean, airports are germ magnets anyway. And so she was like, well, I hadn't thought about that. And so she decided not to meet up with us, which... We were bummed. We missed her, but her health was more important than anything. But the moral of that story is I had bedding for one of us to sleep like on the couch or whatever, and I don't need that. And because we switched out our seats, I really like that. Because we switched out our seats, now we don't even have that kind of a couch to use, so having all that bedding in there is waste. So I pulled all that out. And then um, just trying to assess, like, I don't keep a lot of food in there because we have to winterize it. Or we freeze still, so we, you know, get all the water and stuff out. And we don't leave the heater running and stuff. So I had to pull stuff out to uh, that would freeze and bust or cause damage. Um, so I was trying to just assess and put that stuff back in there and shop back out from under all the cabinets and stuff. And... I'm thinking I want to add just a little bit of gesso to this. I'm going to dry this abandoned coral. I'm going to add a little bit of gesso to this. And then I want to do some stamping on this as the background and see what we can get and just kind of make it just a lot of fun. I'm really just wanting fun because if we collage or, you know, we put something on here, it's going to hide. Of course, that butterfly clashes, but... <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean. Or people. We could use our Tim Holtz people. I know how much some of you absolutely love people. I'm specifically talking to my one friend who likes animals but not people and it cracks me up. I was blabbing away <clears throat> only to realize that I hadn't been filming. So um, I have to admit to you that I really didn't realize that this is what the distress line, the paint line does. Um, I absolutely love it. I think it's super cool that element of transparency that it has to be able to see the underlying layers. I did come in with the Lost Shadow, which of course I had not used yet either. And so I feel like I got a little bit much of the blue covered. So I want to come back in with just a little bit of blue, but not a lot. So I'm just going to actually put a little bit um, just maybe here. I think the cat's in here. I hear something. Um, anyway, and just add just a little bit of that back in 
just in a couple of areas because I've kind of lost it and I don't want to lose the blue. Oh, you know what I could have done? Just kidding. Chloe, where are you, stinker pot? I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that because I just had an idea. Oh, that looks really cool too, though. Looks really cool. I like it. And it's totally fine. But that lost shadow must still be a little bit wet. But anyway, I was like totally talking and then Mark came home and needed my needed me to take him back down to get the RV because it's done. And so I went to stop filming and realized I wasn't filming at all. I really hate when I do that. I know I'm not the only one that does it. So what I want to do now, I think is add some stamping and the reason I was like oh never mind I'm not gonna do that blue back in there but that's a really cool blue I um want to use my Uncharted Mariner ink pad not the oxide but the ink itself and the abandoned coral I think I have just in ink I do just have that in ink and then, um, well, outside, let me find it. So I liked that so much when the blue smeared, I came in and did all the colors again. So now it, I don't know, it's just kind of muted and in the background and whatever. So we're going to see what we want to do. And I don't even know if this is going to work. So again, it may just be an epic fail but I'm having fun while I'm doing it and that's what matters um, and again we don't know what our products do unless we play with them and like I cannot believe I didn't realize how that worked oh now that's gonna be pretty just kind of randomly stamping some of this flourish stamp I got this for my birthday my sweet friend sent it to me very fortunate with some of my friends and I really appreciate the kindness and generosity. Very, very nice. Okay. So that's, oh, yeah, that one came out really good. And the tone on tone stamping is just going to add some interest, but not necessarily be really in our face. So just trying to get the excess ink off of that stamp. I will wipe it. I don't, I'm terrible about cleaning my stamps, but this set I will probably treat a lot nicer than I have some of my other sets in the past. So I need, I'm gonna dry this really quickly. Okay, maybe not so quickly. I'll turn this, I'll pause you again. Okay, so I did the same thing with the blue, the blue. I did the bigger stamp for the blue. I did the smaller stamp for the uh, abandoned coral. And this is the Baroque CMS 400. And I love it. So, what I am finding, sorry I'm winded. I just had to go help Mark put the RV back in its parking spot and I'm winded from the stairs today. I, I'm telling you guys, I'm really tired. Um, the, what I'm finding very interesting is the ink. So I had said I was going to turn you off so that way, because the heat tool is so loud, to dry that abandoned coral. And it's still really kind of shiny in places, as is the blue, which I dried, dried, dried. So what I'm going to do is just wipe like this and see if any of that comes up and a little bit did come up both colors so that's really interesting now one thing that I want to try and I say try because I have no idea if this is going to show up or not is let's see is this going to show up on here let's just test it in a corner uh no uh is it Maybe it will. Let me, I tested the Lost Shadow ink. I don't know, hopefully you can see that. Let me dry that and see if that's visible or what that's doing. I hope this video doesn't end up being super long. 
So I don't know if you can see the crackle or not in there. I am just so baffled by the ink staying wet for so long. Like I even, I dabbed it up and it's still there. So I'm betting it has something to do with either, it's gotta have to do with that distress paint. So I don't know, does anybody know the answer to that? Because I genuinely don't. If you've been watching me very long, you know I typically work with the oxides, not the inks. Um, so I don't know why it's doing that. But I do like the effect on here. I like it a lot, actually. And I'm thinking, I wanna add some script in here. I have this hickory smoke gray ink. Here we go, I'm using another ink. And I'm just going to use my super grungy little stamp. You guys, if you've been following me, you know I use this stamp a lot. And I'm just going to add some more interest and I'm not, not even really seeing that. I don't know if that's because, no. Okay, so there's something that I have done that's resisting this ink. I find that so interesting. Don't think I have any gray and stays on. Fact, I know I don't, but that's all right. I'm just gonna keep going with this and see where this leads us. I'm really enjoying this and truly I'm just kind of baffled by how these things are responding. You can't even see that. That one you can kind of see. So maybe I need to use a darker ink. I was not really wanting to use black, but let's do it in the corner and see. Okay, the black's gonna show. And we'll just do a little. I don't need a lot. Can you even see what I'm doing? I've got it where I can see what I'm doing, not you. I apologize. And I'm trying to remember to go different directions because I don't know which direction this is going to be getting cut. And part of the reason I wasn't going to do the black and the scripty is because I wanted to use some of my new stamps in black for like the, um, mm-hmm. I mean, I dried that for at least a minute and a half and it's still wet. I'm just totally baffled. Okay, some number stamps or some of these labels on here. I think that's gonna be really fun. So let's get a block out. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use my black archival ink and I'm just going to do some stamping in the background here. And then we're gonna randomly cut these tags um, I'm going to turn this upside down and cut these and see what we end up with. But I'll do that with you because it'll be a surprise. We'll turn it upside down, we'll cut it, and then we won't peek until it's all cut. Okay, so I messaged my friend who got me the stamps for my birthday and I was like, oh my gosh, I love these so much. I'm using them right now. So I sent her a picture of what I was doing. She also thinks it's odd that the ink is just sitting here and not drying. I'm like, I'm having to hold my heat tool on it and watch in the light until it totally disappears that it's dry. But anyway, um, so she thinks it's weird too. So I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe somebody knows the answer. So if you do, seriously, please let me know because I'm just completely baffled by why it's doing that. I've never had it do that before. Okay. And after this project, I'm cleaning up. I have to continue to pack and clean up and whatever. So I have my gesso here and I don't know how this is gonna work, but she told me to use the stamp with gesso. So I'm just putting a little bit on my mat here. I don't think you can see that because my workspace is so small. And I'm just going to use my, she didn't tell me this part. She just said to use the stamp with gesso. So I'm just going to gently, oh, I think I'm gonna like this. Well, I like playing with gesso anyway, but anyway, stop saying anyway. Okay, so I just got it on there like that. Just a thin layer. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. 
But anyway, we're going to go for it to see what happens. Oh, well that gives a really interesting texture, but it's picking up my blue. Ay, that's okay. It's an experiment. And the thing about this that I actually am very much so enjoying is the lack of being able to fully control the situation, which I need right now. I totally need that because you don't want to be in my head right now, people. I'm just telling you. It's, it's kind of a crazy train. Okay. Oh, I like that. Now, I've seen people stamp with paints and stuff, but I've always been afraid to do it because, of course, I don't want to ruin my stamps. But I'm totally digging this. It's got a really cool effect. And I know what that's going to do is interact with that ink. She says it's a resist. I'm going to have to ask her because I'm not really sure how it works as far as a resist goes. But she does some super cool mixed media stuff. Like, I always tell her, I would totally take a class if you were teaching a class because she does some really neat stuff. And we want to get together and craft, but we didn't have time this summer to do it. And I'm, obviously, I'm not going to have time this winter to do it. I was kind of hoping we could work something out, but I didn't get to go, well, whatever. The fall retreat didn't work out for me to go to. And, um... So I was disappointed in that because she was teaching a class there, which I was bummed to miss, but that's a totally different story. So, but I like that that's giving it like some texture. Hopefully you can see that. I really can't tell what my lighting is like right now, but I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to let this dry. I think I want to add some splatters and then I think we're going to be ready to cut it. So I, oh yeah, that's got to be washed in the sink. Okay. Let me go do that and uh, I'll be back. This video is getting very long. So what I think I'm going to do is make this a two part. So the first part is just making the background and um, I think that's a lot of fun. Oh, well we didn't cut him. Let's cut it. Um, I did some stamping and um, I hope that's dry enough. I don't know if that gold right there is dry enough. But um, anyway, I just did some stamping. I did some splatters. I mean, I'm a hot mess right now. Big old mess up in here for sure. So I just want to get a straight edge on this. I'm not sure which one of these. That's the spine edge. So let's go with the actual. Well hard to do this oh wait it's hard to do this because <laughs> it's kind of wonky from all the glue and everything but this is fine because we want it like this anyway so now I want to go how do I want to go I don't even know what this measures it measures about about nine and a half so let's do this if I go um, this one, let's go four. Pretty sure that I'm going to be smearing something. I can't imagine with the way this is giving me a hard time drying that everything is dry. So four that way. And then let's go six this way. And then let's just come over here and go, mm, I don't know. Three, two and a half. Two and a half sound good? Let's do it. Okay. We'll set that aside because that's a scrap. And then let's go three and a half this way. And these might be kind of wonky because this paper is like all bumpy and bubbly and crazy and... It's a Jody paper. It's all crazy. All right. So just square that end up and then let's flip this. So I did three and a half. So let's do five and a half on that. So let's go another two and a half on this one. And then that leaves this piece. So let's get a straight edge on this piece. 
And then um, let's just go ahead and let's see. That's four and a half. Sure. Let's go four and a half that way. And then let's go six. And let's see if we can get two and a half on that one as well. Yeah. Okay. So let's see what we're left with. Well, my sweater caught a couple pieces, but that I knew that wasn't dry. Look, I have gold paint on my cutter now. I'll clean it. Okay, let's see what we have here. So do, 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 do. And we have some bits. Well, that's kind of crazy for a collage bit. I don't know if you can see that or not. So these were our edges. Those are really fun bits to work with. And then we've got this little piece here. And we have, ooh, oh, that's fun. All of my ink, my, oh, I'm just gonna have to let these dry overnight. So I'm gonna let these dry overnight. And then I think I'll make this two parts. See, I like that. It doesn't matter which way you put it. And I love that. That's totally gonna be probably the top of my tag. So I don't cover it when I decorate it. Oh yeah. I am loving it. And the bottom here is like fine because if we could make a little pocket or something on there. Okay, we got some fun bits here. We got some really fun bits here. So I like it. Um, so I'm gonna do one of two things and I don't know yet, I'll decide. So I'm either gonna make this the end of the video uh, in which case I'll go ahead and say thank you for joining me and please make sure you hit the like button, the subscribe button, the notification bell, leave me comments. I love hearing what you guys have to say. I love the interaction from you and I really appreciate it. So even if this is not the end of the video, then at least I have said it and probably will say it again if I add on to the end of it. But these are going to be fun and I don't even know with how bright they came out, if they're gonna match my book. But you know what, I think they will. And they're gonna be a fun pop of color. Like that one will totally fit in here somewhere. And we're gonna go with it because the whole point of this particular book is so that I can play, do challenges, um, do things like that, and um, just create whatever I feel like it. And that's why I don't want to completely embellish this book. I want to just have bits that we can work on together and, or, you know, whatever, and that I can add to it and just be kind of an eclectic piece. I really want it to be eclectic. So I can't say, oh my gosh, that's too bright. It doesn't match. It doesn't fit. I'm going to do it anyway. And that's okay. That's the whole point. And this is pushing me outside my creative box because I really do matchy matchy. So this is not going to be matchy matchy if I stick with the plan. So, okay. I am going to make this a two part because I know this is like pushing 40 minutes and then I will see what I can gather for the tags themselves. And I don't know how that works as far as Louisa's giveaway. So I will probably just have the second part where we're decorating these and just say, Hey, you know, I made them here. They are. And this is the beginning stages for the master board. So thank you for joining me. Get your stuff out and play. Get excited like I did. Like I had no idea that the distress paint would do that. And it's so much fun to work with. I love it. Um, um, yeah. And the inks and the paints. And I mean, this is just a lot of different things that we worked with here. And I mean, I already had the page collaged. But if you don't have a scrap paper page um get in your bin pull your scraps and collage or you know tear up a piece of paper and glue it to another piece of paper and then that will give you some of that texture in your background if you have questions if you need ideas for alternative uh, products that you can use please make sure you ask in the comments and know that you don't have to have all the things you can do with what you have the thing with working with the paints was it allowed me to cross over on the color uh, wheel where with inks you really can't do that are you gonna make mud by making mud I mean that you're gonna end up with brown and maybe that's something you're okay with in this particular project I didn't want that to happen so anyway thank you for joining me I'll see you in the next video bye